In this video is part of a series on Fusion's particle system, kind of giving an overview over the different nodes and how to utilize them and get going with them so you can use them in your own projects. If you go to Tools and Particles here, you see there's a pretty long list of different nodes, so I'm going to be going over each of them and kind of helping you get started in using them. So in this video, we're going to be going over the pkill node, which is basically designed to, if the p emitter creates particles, then pkill's function is to uh, kill them or to uh, have them disappear from the simulation. So the Pretty much the only real parameter you have is the region and as with the, the other nodes you can choose what kind of region you have so it's sphere rectangle mesh cube all the various ones here that are also available in the other nodes and then what how they influence the the world so you can have when it's inside the region it'll affect the particles you can have it so that it's when it's everywhere it'll happen or when it's not inside there's various different ones you can experiment with here but I'm going to demonstrate when it's inside the region so as you can see here I have a p emitter creating particles and they're given some velocity and they're coming from left to right and then this sphere here is the region for the p-kill node so then as the particles head towards it you'll see them start to disappear which is the function of the peak hill. Oh, it's a pretty kind of a one trick pony does the one thing, but by uh, changing the parameters of the region, you can have it do different effects and get a little bit of a different take on it. But its main function is just to uh, kill the particles that the emitter creates. So hopefully you found this useful. Hopefully you'll look at the other videos in this series and kind of get an overview of the particle system. Blackmagic Designs Fusion, and I hope you found this useful, and thank you for watching.